Peace and blessings, family. I'm your advisor, Alif. And today I would like to continue our series on heaven on earth, the reality of heaven, as taught by Messenger Elijah Muhammad. In his last book, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad goes into intricate details about the future. And basically he explains to us that hell is the United States of America. And he explained to us that the hereafter or heaven is the United States of America. Think that over for a minute. Hell is really heaven and heaven is really hell. This is in accord with the universal law of polarity that hell and heaven are not two distinct and separate places as believed by most organized religions on the face of the planet Earth. Rather, heaven and hell are different vibrations or different levels of consciousness. When we vibrate on a real low frequency on a physical plane, we experience hell right here on Earth. Sickness, poverty, racism, death, disease, and destruction, wars and rumors of wars, technology, mysticism, so these are the precepts or the pillars that uphold Satan's kingdom. Now, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that anything or anyone can be a devil. You can have a devil cat, he explains to us. But when we speak about Satan, we're talking about ones whose power or influence is not confined to themselves alone, but it affects others. I'm not worrying about a racist Klansman living in the backwoods somewhere in the trailer park. He don't have no juice. He don't have no, no power. He don't have no force. He don't have no godship. He has no Satan power. Now I mean, he can talk all the racist stuff he want. However, if you have a black man or a white man or a black woman or a white woman that is high in political power, that have abundance of wealth, they can alter your life as you know it because they can do good or evil so it's not that the five percent are black people and the ten percent are white people but when we look at the five percent of the poor righteous teachers and when we look at the ten percent the rich slave makers of the poor and when we look at the 85 percent the masses the mentally dead it refers to anyone so you can have a person in the United States of America that is black and even though they're God by nature their characteristics can be that of a devil and the message Jesus actually becomes seven times worse than the devil because by nature they're righteous so there are seven mind dimensions meaning the physical the emotional the mental the spiritual the soul the self and the will is other than its own self so that makes it worse because this is not a grafted man. This is an original man acting in a grafted way. As we know in the hood, and I mean, you can have some black cops worse than white cops. In the belly of the beast, you can have some black guards that treat you 10 times worse than a white guard. Know what I mean, so we, we experience these things. We understand these things. But the point is the United States of America is the point that the law is going to use to take and transform his new world in. The message teaches us that America will burn 390 years to take 610 years to cool off. We've seen the hot lava, the magma, from the volcano eruptions just a few days ago. And one of the things the newscasters were showing was that in that little brief span, we're talking one week, we're not talking long, but just in that volcanic activity, when that hot rock erupts from the core of the earth and comes onto the surface of the earth or goes underneath the oceans or underneath the lake streams and rivers and, and creeks and things, it forms islands and is pitch black organic rich material. Now, if you watch that black organic material over the years, you'll notice that as the Holy Quran says, we send the winds fertilizer. You'll see how the wind carries spores and bacteria and algae you'll see that a bird could come on the mainland and eat some blueberries and eat some strawberries and then fly over this black organic rock and land on it 
and when they defecate or take a poop on that land, they have the essence of the blueberry or the essence of the strawberry or the essence of the dandelion or what have you in their defecation and their so-called waste product, but nature recycles everything in creation. Everything gets recycled in the universe. However, you'll come back a few years later with no farmers and you find all these blueberry patches, all these strawberry patches, all these beautiful wildflowers on this island that was once barren. You now see coconut trees all over the place. This is the way mother nature operates. Don't imagine that volcanic activity happening for 390 years and then cooling off for 610 years. You would come back and you would consider it the Garden of Eden. No pollution, no, no poisons, no toxins like we know it today. So that world is a world of beauty. That world is a world that's more in harmony with mother nature. It's more in accord with what we call from new Mayak, a universal balance of peace, true freedom, justice, and equality. We call it, in this day and time, Islam. That's all Islam represents, is submission to universal law. If you throw your ink pen in the air, it's Islam. That ink pen is going to come back down to the earth because what comes up must come down. That's the natural laws of gravity. Everything operates in harmony with a law's decree, a law's will and purpose. But the law is not a ghost, nor a spook, nor a spirit. Therefore, he's not interested in giving us magical places where we're going to have magical milk and magical wine and and magical women and magical youth and magical men and magical angels it's, it's, it's symbolic now i mean the holy Quran teaches us that some people take the parts of the crime that's made plain as though they're allegorical or symbolic and then there's some people that take the parts that's allegorical or symbolic as though they're made plain so we have to understand it in context if you will we have to understand it in reality the sure truth so America is that place where the new world is going to begin. And it makes perfect sense because this is where Satan set up his kingdom to rule the planet Earth. So this is where law is going to set up his kingdom to rule the planet Earth in peace, truth, freedom, justice, and equality. But this heaven and this hell is going to be unique because in the hereafter, we're not going to be taking Tylenol. We're not going to be taking no synthetic dope. We ain't gonna need no crack, no meth, no beer, wine, and all the things that we use in this world to try to get a temporary heaven. You know what I mean? You know, our, our weed gives us a temporary heaven. Our drugs and our, our, our poison foods give us temporary comfort food. That's temporary heaven. But we're gonna have a real heaven, a permanent heaven, a heaven within and a heaven without. When we say God is the most high, we're talking about us operating at the highest level of our consciousness. And that's the will plane, thinking on a plane of peace. And in that mutual peace, you'll see that the universe itself is different. Lions wouldn't come kill you. Snakes won't bite you. Bees won't sting you. It'll be a whole new world order. Not a new world order of the Illuminati or ruled by Satan and the 10% rich slave makers of the poor, but a new world order ruled by the poor righteous teachers, the 5%, the gods of the universe. Who is the original man? The Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the creator of planet Earth, God of the universe. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them rock you back to sleep. Stay woke. Islam law. I'm your brother, Minister Ali for law. This is NOI report. Make sure y'all like and subscribe this video so we can keep building in the cypher. Peace.